Hi, this is Peter K with Flow Arena and today we'll be talking about custom Android launchers. As you all know, Android has the upper hand when it comes to customizability and its rivals, iOS and Windows Phone, literally don't stand a chance against it in this one horse race. Thus, one of the easiest ways to completely change the interface looks of your Android device is by changing its home screen launcher. The third-party ones usually offer a wider range of various customization options, which can be rarely found in stock launchers such as Samsung's TouchWiz or HTC Sense. In addition, most of the popular custom launchers are wider and usually run a tad smoother than the stock ones. So, let's go ahead and cover some of the best, lightest and most popular launchers for Android. Let's start with Nova Launcher. It's one of the lightest, most feature-packed and most popular launchers out there. We would even say that it's the best all-around launcher for Android, as it's absolutely light, smooth and feature-packed. Nova Launcher was among the first launchers to include support for Google's voice search hot word, OK Google. In the customization department, Nova allows its users to greatly alter the layout of their home screens, modify the home screen interface, change the transition animations, icon shortcuts and so on. Next on our list is Go Launcher X, another pretty popular home screen replacement for Android. It comes with a decent amount of customization features, supports custom icon packs, a wide range of various themes, beautiful transition effects and a lot more. However, Go Launcher is not among the lightest launchers, so it shouldn't be your first option if your device is a lower end one. Next up, we have Apex Launcher. As a whole, it's pretty similar to Nova in terms of features. Apex allows you to have up to 9 home screens, as well as multiple drawer tabs. With this launcher, you can customize the different icons and rename any app or folder. If you're a fan of gesture-based input, Apex got you covered once again. You can define various home screen gestures. As a whole, it's a perfectly balanced launcher. If you are looking for a smooth performance and stability but still need to feel like a power user, then Apex won't disappoint you. The next pretty awesome launcher is Smart Launcher 2. Its signature feature are the so-called bubbles. A circular dial of several apps that are neatly positioned on your home screen. Its app drawer, which can be accessed by swiping right, sorts your apps in several tabs. For example, media, internet, utilities, games, and so on. Smart Launcher 2 is unbelievably wide and also supports a number of useful one and two finger gestures that really simplify the single handed usage. Now, let's turn our heads to Mi Launcher. Similar to Xiaomi and iOS devices, this launcher ditches your app drawer and scatters all of your apps across several home screens. Hey, don't turn your heads, Android diehards. In fact, Mi Launcher is pretty neat and easy to use. Chances are that you'll end up loving it at the end of the day. Still, it comes with a pretty limited amount of customization options, which might be a huge deal breaker for some Android enthusiasts. Next on our list is the simplistic Dodo Launcher. While it is not as customizable as the likes of Nova or Apex, it still has some hidden aces up its sleeve. The large number of available free teams, for example. You can choose among thousands of teams that change both the layout, the icons and the wallpaper of your home screen. Performance-wise, Dodo Launcher is smooth and should be more than acceptable for the average Android user, so we highly recommend that you give it a try. Say hello to Action Launcher, one of the smoothest launchers for Android. Similar to Smart Launcher 2, it doesn't come with a regular app drawer. Instead, Swiping your home screen right will take you to an alphabetical list of your apps, while swiping the screen left takes you to the so-called quick page, which houses Google search and your recently used apps. Action Launcher is pretty smooth, so you shouldn't expect any interface hiccups or lag. Still, consider that most of the neat features are only available in the paid version of Action Launcher. Well, that's it for now, folks. That's the first part of our video pick of the best, whitest and most awesome Android launchers. Stay tuned for the second installment and also feel free to tell us which ones of these launchers are your favorite in the comment section below. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to visit faunarena.com.